So the Dragon Eye Pendant has been cured and cooled completely. Whenever you're working with glass, you want to make sure that you don't uh, get any water on it while it's still hot because it'll crack the glass. So before you paint it, because that's going to involve some water, um, let it cool down completely. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is antique it. And I like a mixture of black and brown. Black I find a little too strong sometimes. Brown just just leaves me wanting more. So I'm going to use a mixture of both. And that's just a craft paint. The brown I'm using is Asphaltum. And uh, the black is just a deco art black. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit just onto a surface. Some other colors I might be using, and I never really know until I start painting what I'm going to need. I'm very fond of these Lumiere paints. Um, they're wonderful, metallic, shiny. Uh, they they uh, adhere really, really well. So I may use them. Um, if I do, I may bake it in the oven again for another 10-15 minutes to set the color. It seems to help. Uh, I'm going to use Inca Golds. I have one in Platinum. And this one is in uh, green yellow, and they're they're nice shiny, shiny metallic paints. And I may use Gilder's Paste in German silver. It's my favorite color. And like I say, I've just kind of make this up as I go along. So you're going to need water and a stiff brush. And I'm going to mix some of the black and some of the brown together. have a piece of a paper towel handy and uh, a moist baby wipe handy to take it off with and I'll I just go ahead and cover everything it's a small pendant so you can cover the whole thing without having to to worry about it drying off before you have a chance to wipe it off So you, I'm using a good stiff brush because I want to force that paint right down into any little crevices. I'll just put a little on the back. I'll just wipe that off after. It's going to get on the back anyways just from handling it, so may as well make it work for me. Okay, so I can give that a second or two, put the brush in the water. And I'm going to use a baby wipe to wipe off my hands before I pick it up again. So you don't have to be in a big hurry to take that off. Uh, and I like taking it off at first with a piece of paper towel rather than a baby wipe, because a baby wipe actually takes off almost too much. So we'll give that a second or two to set up a wee bit. No more than a minute. Okay, we got a little storage problem with the camera, so hopefully I caught most of what I've done. Uh, I'm going to go ahead now and use uh, the Lumiere paints, and I'm going to apply them with a brush. I want this to be fairly dry, so I'm, I'm just going to take a little bit of the paint and actually take some of it off on a brush, uh, or paper towel rather. And just stroke slightly over top of... Let's get some light here. It's going to be very, very subtle. I'm just hitting the top edges. So maybe 
we'll try a different color. The green's not showing that much. This copper is halo pink gold. It's a gorgeous color. Try a little bit of that purple color. Purple is uh, halo violet gold. And we'll brush some of that over the little warts. A little bit on the bottom lid. And you can go crazy painting these. There's no rules. This is the bronze color. That's probably plenty of color. So I'm going to put a little bit of Gilder's Pace on it, just because I like to. <laughs> so this one is a solvent-based product. And uh, when it starts to dry out, you put mineral spirits in it and just let it soak in. I've had this pot for... Oh, probably about 10 years. So this one is German silver, and it's just such a nice soft, almost like the softest gold, bronze, silvery color. It's hard to describe. It's a great color. Gives a nice metallic sheen to the whole piece. And if you need to get in and paint some of the crevices and stuff like that, you can use a brush or you could use a cotton swab. If I want to get down in here and just get a little hint of that color. you're going to use a brush on this, you're going to have to clean the brush out with mineral spirits afterwards. I'll do this part with my finger. Then I'll wipe the eye off because I got some of that on the eye. So the Gilder's paste, you let it dry for 10-15 minutes and then you can buff it with a soft cloth. And if I get any on the eye that won't come off, it'll come off with the a cotton swab and some mineral spirits. Everything comes off these glass eyes. Okay, so I, I would say that was done. Uh, I'm going to let it um, sit for a little bit. I might pop it in the oven maybe at 200 degrees for about 10 minutes. 
that'll help set all the paint. Then after that, I'm going to give it a spray with uh, uh, Preserve Your Memories. That's uh, PMY2. Uh, I love this spray. It just, it really works well. Um, I could choose to use, uh, I like the uh, golden matte uh, varnish, well, the one with the UV uh, protectant in it. That works really well too. Um, because I, 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 these paints are kind of shiny on their own, so I don't really want to add a whole lot of gloss uh, to the project. If I'm going to give it a spray, which I usually do, as um, soon as I spray it, I take a, a little bit of a cloth and I wipe off the eye before the spray um, adheres to the eye. If you miss that, you can scrape it off. It's not really a big deal. But that's basically what I'm going to do. And then after that, I just take... Um, a pendant back and some crazy glue and my favorite crazy glue is Gorilla Super Glue. Uh, I can't get it in the gel. I hear, I hear the gel works even better but I haven't had any issues with this at all. So a little bit of crazy glue on the back of that. Put the, the pendant hanger on, center it the way you want it and it's ready to uh, to be worn. So I'll uh, get a photo of this after it's all done and thanks ever so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and uh, please subscribe to my channel I guess I'll be making a few more of these uh, going on holidays for now so it'll be uh, it'll be a month or two before I get back into my studio but um, thanks for watching bye